two of the uh, iRacing graphics card whole extravaganza I started the other night. So, what's next? Alright, so what we want to do is we're actually going to go on over to the NVIDIA website. We're going to talk about drivers, driver rollbacks, and this is the GeForce website. So from here, we're going to go over to drivers. All right, guys, and there's a few options here. Uh, first option is automatic driver updates. Uh, you can just, it'll automatically download the latest driver that NVIDIA has for your card, which I don't recommend doing. We'll get started here with our manual driver search. We're going to click GeForce at the top box. Second one is, if it's not already on 900 series, you want to put it on 900 series. And then you're going to select your individual graphics card. You see Titan X, 980 Ti, 980, 970. We've got the 970 in our, in our computer. And then the next thing you're going to do is you're going to click your operating system, which mine is a Windows 10 64-bit system. So we're going to start our search. Now what pops up next, guys, is our results. Now these are all the previous drivers that NVIDIA has stored on their uh, their servers. Uh, this is obviously the latest driver. This is uh, Tuesday, June 7th driver, um, which is the driver that NVIDIA is trying to get me to install by constantly reminding me every time I turn on my computer that I need a driver update. Um, but their latest driver on here um, is December 21st of last year. If the driver that you're running isn't working properly, um, whether you're getting micro stutter or frame rate drops or, you know, screen freezes or whatever, you know, just one by one start download, download the driver, install it run it for a couple of days and uh, see if that fixes the problem if it doesn't just keep rolling back the drivers and you'll eventually find a driver that really cooperates with your system now the thing about computers guys is this is something a lot of people don't think about but each component has to talk and communicate with each other all right so each computer is different um, so these drivers have got to communicate with these components. These com components have got to communicate with each other. So each computer is going to work better on a different driver. All right, that's what I need you to understand is you really have got to find a driver that really works well. What I'm going to do is I'm going to load up iRacing and we'll go actually into iRacing and we will um, go into the graphics settings get everything optimized in there all right guys now as you can see we've got iRacing loaded up here but we'll go into our options here and we'll go into our graphics settings um, guys I'm actually going to turn the webcam off so you can see these um, so you can see everything now, first thing I want to explain is I'm running uh, three 25-inch monitors um, in 5760 by 1080 NVIDIA surround. Now, this resolution, I'm sure every, most of you have known it, it's a little off. The reason that it's off is my triples are not set as my primary display in Windows. The top monitor is. And I do that for other other gaming purposes and stuff. Um, so don't pay any attention to that. But when you go into your resolution, your 5760 by 1080 monitor should be this last selection down here. Obviously, if you're running a single monitor, you're going to want it set at 1920 by 1080. Um, your UI zoom should be at 100%. Um, should be at full screen. Um, I run in borderless window mode for the fact that when I do the victory lane photos, guys, it 
the software I use won't let me take a picture in full screen so I run borderless window that really doesn't affect the uh, frames or anything too much uh, your number of screens you want set is three um, this is just your bezel correction guys if you got monitors with wackadoo bezels you can adjust it in here I'm running the same three monitors down here so everything lines up fine this is your field of view which is your you know, your in-car field of view that you can adjust um, as you can see down here this is where the meat and the sandwich is right here the performance um, as you can see mine's max quality it's custom uh, so we're going to start the right side the cars pit objects all this stuff needs to be uh, jacked up on high detail uh, your particles you want it on full resolution uh, high detail on your headlights um, you can set your max cars as whatever you want um, basically what that is is how many cars your computer will let you see that are on the racetrack um, I've never I don't think I've ever ran with exception of IWCR with more than 36 cars on the track so that's why it's like that um, frame rates guys this is what I really want to pound into you guys tonight um, a lot of people run their frame rates with no limit um, and it's personal preference really guys but I do not ever run no limit because these cards are very well capable of three, 300 uh, FPS but at any given chance uh, they can just drop down to like 10 frames for a second and that's just not cool if that's ever happened to you guys you know it's not cool it's not fun to deal with um, when you're running no limits on your frame rates the card is just ramping up and down constantly it's going high it's going low it's doing all kinds of crazy crap um, so what you really want to do is you're going to want to limit your frame rates that forces a constant um, a constant frame rate to the card it it forces it to stick at that so if it's not going as high as it possibly can and then coming way down it's not doing that it just sticks at that solid frame so with a 970 I found it 8485 is a sweet spot um, the 980 and 980Ti the Titans they can actually probably push 100 to 120 um, I, don't know, I haven't tested one so that's something that you might if you have one try to bump it to 100 um, the BATT guys that's uh, for laptop users only um, that basically has something to do with battery usage when you're on your battery it, it forces frame rates through low battery power or something. Um, I've never run a laptop on iRacing, so I'm not real sure. But I do know it's something to do with laptops and battery power. Um, guys, all this stuff should be selected here. Uh, your dynamic objects, your filters, your static objects, uh, shadow volumes. Um, this is the next area that you're going to want to change, guys. By default... Um, the, your uh, anastrophic filtering and your AA mode is both set to 4x guys we're going to turn both of these off alright these are you get the best performance when these are turned off um, I'm not going to go into exactly what anti-aliasing and anastrophic filtering is because it will just confuse and probably put most of you to sleep but you just want to turn those off, alright? Um, render, you know, all this stuff, all this should be selected. Um, it's personal, personal preference if you want to run your cockpit mirrors, guys. I do. Um, but when you turn your cockpit mirrors on, by default, they're set to four mirrors max. Um, in stock cars, we only use two. We use the left side post mirror and we use the rear view mirror. Um, high detailing mirror. You know, like 
everything should be selected guys um, this is your personal preference do you want to see driver arms hide the steering wheel share the steering wheel uh, I share the driver's arms I just like it that way <coughs> guys um, I've got a slight overclock on my GPU so my GPU video memory is going to be a little bit higher than what yours is yours is probably going to be closer to like right here um, like I said yes there's the message right there um, this could cause lost frame rates if you don't do it right if you aren't experienced with um, overclocking GPUs and CPUs don't mess with it because you can really screw some stuff up um, as you can see your max memory on your systems jammed all the way up because I've got like 24 gigs of memory in mine um, and that's about it guys that's I mean, it's not real confusing but I mean just optimizing everything does so much um, for the experience a lot of guys just throw the card in there they put it in they let it go let's let's go racing you know but spend some time work on your system um, get everything programmed right and it's just it works so much better all right guys um, so with all that being said you know I've walked you through just about everything there is to uh, to get all these things optimized um, so if you have any questions you know hit me up on Facebook uh, put it up in the comments down below um, I do have the YouTube channel going um, this video will be uploaded to the YouTube channel it'll be the second video on the channel um, so if you haven't already you know come over to the Mad Mike's custom YouTube channel uh, give me a like give me some suggestions on videos you'd like to see done alright until the next one guys I'm Mad Mike Mad Mike's Customs catch you later